Hi ladies! So I figured it would be easiest to show you guys stage direction all drawn out on a whiteboard before I try and show you guys some of the choreography that we're going to learn this week or that we're learning this week. Um, <clears throat> so to explain all of this just a little bit if you didn't figure it out already, this is like our mirror or the front of our stage, our audience. This is the back of our stage and the sides, obviously. And then all of these dots represent you guys. So I think I announced this in class already, but our class is combining with Miss Rachel's Ballet One class. So these dots right here represent all of the dancers in her class, and these dots right here represent our class. <clears throat> um... These are your initials. So we have Zoe T, we have Madeline, Zoe N, we have Emily, we have Brooklyn, we have Ella, and Genesis. So hopefully, yeah, that all makes sense. Um, so what's gonna happen, we just did our arm thing here, our little port de bras, which I will make sure to put that in the choreography video because it was a while ago now that we learned that. And so, if anybody has like forgotten it or it's a little bit rusty, that will be in the choreography video. So don't worry if you're like, ah, I don't know it. Um, so for right now, we're gonna pretend like we just did that arm part and then we turn over. Miss Rachel's class turns to face this way. Our class turns to face this way. Um, and then we stand up. So Miss Rachel's class is going to all stand up and then they are going to go to downstage left and form kind of a little line thing right here and then our class is going to stand up and we are going to come around to upstage right and we are going to form kind of a little line right here and then we're going to do some choreography across the stage so that we end up Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dancers on the back line, which will be all our class. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dancers, which will be Miss Rachel's class forming a line across the front. So hopefully that is not too confusing, but we're going to go from this V to our corners and then to these two lines here, one in the front, one in the back. Um, and so we'll learn some choreography to get to those pieces, but I just wanted to show you stage directions for now so that you kind of can get a picture of what this will look like as we're learning it kind of individually by ourselves. Um, yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about this, you will be able to ask me next week 